Hey guys, it's Corey from Laboratory again, and today I'm going to show you how to repair STL files. This could be after you download a bad STL file that's not watertight, or after you do a cut using NetFab um, and how to repair it. So again, we need to download NetFab. So going to the NetFab website, downloading NetFab Basic, which I've already done, and I've even got it loaded up, ready to go. So here's my Iron Man mask. If you guys saw my how to do a cut video using NetFab, you would have seen this before. But now I'm going to repair the file. So the first thing I want to do is click on what we want to repair. So we're going to repair this side and click the healthy I mean, red cross symbol, I say. I guess it's going to be code for repair. And all we have to do is click automatic repair. I just use default repair, hit execute, automatic repair. Whoops, and apply repair. Now, if we click remove old part, it deletes the old one. Or if we could say keep old part, it obviously won't get rid of it. So I don't need it anymore. And you can see now this has been filled in. So it's no longer a hole on the side like this one is, but it's actually been filled in. Now, if we want to export this as an STL file, all we need to do is right click, click on export part. Decide what we want to export it as. So I'm just going to do it as an STL. Just name it, and we are done. So this can be done for any STL file. If you guys run Repedia using the TL4100, you would have noticed that it's got a little button somewhere on there that says, you know, click here to repair watertight thing. First one's free. Well, you know, you can basically do this in 20 seconds and save yourself five bucks or whatever it costs to each time you've got to get repaired. So... And it wouldn't surprise me if this is what they actually use anyway, because it's just really easy and simple. Um, hope you guys like this short video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.